You know what? Let's um let's go to Uncle Joe's outpost and see if there's, you know, a trader or something, even though I haven't seen any money in this game whatsoever. And there is only two of them currently. Oh uh, no. Yeah, please. but never count your eggs before they've turned into hog raiders and ran into the event. That will feel like getting involved. The worst part is they're just in line. It's like they die harder when they notice you're there or something, or is it just... It's just headshots, but I did notice one enemy had a mask, but other enemies have had masks. Oh, no! Excuse me! Some enemies have masks and they can deflect headshots. Others, um... They can't, and I haven't really been able to work out the commonality there. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Apparently we have to- oh. Oh, oh, great. Wait, I didn't- I'm- Oh, eh. I'm glad that guy was to the point. Still haven't found an assault rifle I can use. Well, best of luck. That guy is coming up behind you. As the event is complete, <laughs> this is no longer a me problem. No. Okay, it's become a- uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh god, it's a me problem. This dude is just fine. Oh good! Alright, I'll see you later. Have fun. It is literally just some person holding like one cord and being like, I'll hit this string and that string and then another string. It's kind of just the most boring soundtrack development ever. Who do you think of the five was the musician? What do you think of roles they also did? It's fucking Manny or something. His name is Manny. He's the only one who brought an instrument. They're like, okay, you're the sound guy. Like, just reverb synthesizer, like, people going, Aah! while someone drums in the background that just go, -ba 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 -ba. They probably bought this music. I say bought. They probably acquired this music. Hey! Still no gun, though. I don't know why I keep going on about wanting a gun when the one we do have has been less than stellar. It is the, this is the most easiest music just to make. Just hitting a drum, doing some percussion. Oh, uh, there's two dudes now. I love that you can hear the click of it. Yeah, it the fucking, there was a pop in the soundtrack. Truly amazing music. Turn around. Turn around. Don't question it. Honestly, I'm just waiting for the day when video games that have stealth elements... They fucking- the, the villains notice that someone's throwing a rock and look, look at where the rock would be fucking coming from. That's an enemy who's smart enough. Their gimmick is they're not a fucking moron. Like, in Last of Us, there's some difference between how the zombies act and the humans oh, act. Oh, that guy had but When you use a fucking rock, they still go towards the rock. The zombies and the fucking humans. If I was a hu- the humans are supposed to be smarter, right? A I guess. There's a rock being thrown. Look at the other side where the rock was coming from. Hey, um... Event complete? Hey. Uh... I saved I you. Not. I guess not. Don't take a smoke. Are you supposed to talk to them? I... Uh. No. They refused. The fuck? I've been Where's he jipped. going? Where's he going? Oh, there's a oh. dude. Okay. What? Never mind. He just wanted to get off the road. Oh, that's the side quest marker. Hmm. At least we have something. Something to do. Who's this? Hey, the- yeah, the bus- the bus isn't coming, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of shit out of luck there. 
like public transportation just kind of ends when the apocalypse starts. Oh, don't be presumptuous. <laughs> I mean, that would be an interesting thing, huh? If you're calling on those damned islanders, I am starting to get some ideas of why you were banished. Alright, what dumb idea did you have? Why are you covered in blood? I killed the children so we didn't have to protect them. Uh... I know that feeling. Well, I know that feeling worse than you do. We have, in fact, died multiple times. In, in any case, actually, you should probably be the protagonist. Alright, I like your confidence. I mean, we can, we can also just fix ourselves with a couple of surgical supplies. So, you were banished for getting into a fight with raiders. Just a bit ago, I said I should put more wood in my furnace, and I'm gonna do that now, Snake, so you can hear me do that in the background. Alright, well, I'm gonna go and get supplies from the farm. Oh, I probably have to talk to the doctor who's here, and he's gonna be a whole deal, because he's a new character. Jimmy, are you the greeter? I think he's has the animation set of a zombie, but I'm not gonna judge him too harshly. Hey Doc. No, you're not Doc. Oh god. Everyone presumes these things about me. I was such a helpful guy in life. Who's this green grove asshole? I talked to the wrong guy and he said that, oh, the doctor told me you would help. I don't know who the doctor is, but apparently everyone thinks I'm really fucking nice. I don't get the idea. Like, if I was talking to this guy, he was doing this at me. I'm not like, helping. Like, tapping his fingers, arms crossed, I'd be like, okay, dude, jeez. What help do you need? Do you need a sedative? Doc Elliot. Who the fuck is Doc Elliot? If there was a doctor here and his name was Doc Elliot, I wouldn't trust the dude. <laughs> oh, we're a nurse now. Well, it's good that we found steady employment. These god jobs just weren't gonna pay the bills. I'm gonna start presuming Mahalo means thank you. I do love the idea of giving making these characters Hawaiian as they just throw in a Hawaiian word every other what every other sentence. That you don't know what means. Mahalo is just like a greeting, I guess. It's not just like a hello or like greetings, but it's like I guess it's a nicer greeting. A more like um you know. There's there's a better way of explaining it. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Which I have not hit on yet. We should uh, you know, not take random stabs in the dark. I think just either one of us actually. <laughs> Oh, I got those. Does it matter if it's from an animal that I killed recently? Actually, that's probably better. Oh god, this is the gathering tutorial. I'm way ahead of you. I've played Far Cry. Oh yeah, it does just mean thank you. It's funny, actually, because it's the same way that fucking natives talking readful, they just replace nouns but otherwise speak in perfectly complex full english sentences which for hawaiians is a lot more believable but for the natives who only came across english 15 years ago and even know it in the deepest parts of the island it's really weird that they just throw out really complex english sentences and use very interesting metaphors and similes not in their own tongue all right yeah here have that Oh, uh, dude, I love some chicken wraps. Hit me with that shit. <laughs> oh, for crying you're, out you're, loud. You're doing medical stuff and you're like, mm, I love some chicken wraps. That's not, that's not where my mind goes to. It was a dumb joke, okay? I've got to, I've got to do something. I'm sorry, Snake, that I make fun of your fun joke. Yeah, you did. It's okay, though. <laughs> she is talking a lot. She's giving me a lot of gameplay mechanics. 
Oh, I love it when we get more... Haven't we been doing this? Oh god, we got the crafting system now. Haven't we already been doing that? Or did... Uh, no, I've just been stealing stuff. I mean, we know that... We are aware that the crafting thing exists. We've been trying to. I don't think I can craft... Ah, uh, let me see. Healing wrap. Ah, clever. Okay. So I can't... I can't craft this. But I can craft this. Up and put it... It does heal you more. <laughs> well, now I'm out of stuff. Now I'm even further away from upgrading this capacity. Alright, yeah, sure. Heal these three people. Using healing wrap. That's the doctor at work. I feel this doctor is just really lazy. Where's the third? Alright, well I don't need to heal you. If anything, you could do with being calmer. You see, if it was a 90s family comedy, we would be rapping <laughs> to heal these men. Oh, that would be sick. <laughs> I'm disappointed I can't move this guy from his chair. I don't know, I kind of prefer the fact that we can just run into him and he just stands up and like, "Wah!" Ah, there you are. See, this game's sneaky. It tries to hide things from you through clever use of the environment. Done doing your job for you. Are you shitting me sideways? I guess I didn't hold it down long enough. Oh, okay, right, never mind. She just assumes that I wasn't going to do anything. Very indignantly, too. <laughs> I'm not as lazy as you are. The developers decided the first thing she should do is berate you, even though you have already done anything. It's like they intentionally want you to be like, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they don't want you liking anyone. Ah, there we go. Now uh. he's ready to parlay. He was waiting for a bus. I don't think he's all there. <laughs> <laughs> My guy's having such a laugh about that idiot Tacitus. Or Tacitus. <laughs> that fucking moron. Fucking name is Tacitus. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kai. Hello, I'm Tacitus. Oh, how very Roman. He's just dressed way too green. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's camouflage, I think. No, this isn't camouflage green. <laughs> this is bullshit green. This is some fucking... He's also got a hole in his pants because I can see his thigh clipping through whenever he does certain ways. Mate, eventually something else is going to slip through there and it's not going to be good for anyone. Like, I would get if it was just the green shirt and, like, pants that aren't green. What kind of a fuck has green, those kind of green pants? Green jeans. That's good. Those aren't jeans. Green jeans. I'm gl Oh my god. They seem like cargo pants, but the worst color of oh. any pants. Oh, we've got to figure this one out. We can lie to him and steal it. Uh, let's do it. Let's be a nice guy. I can't convince you. Oh. That's... That's easy, I guess. Mm-hmm. Unless you ask for my knife. No actual morality play. It's just like, I'll do something. It's just like prolonging the game, I guess. Yeah. It is very video game that the nicer option does take longer, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I've been having a problem recently with the fact that being good is just always too easy. Evil just gives you nothing. I feel that's the point of these things should be. They've got to fuck you on this stuff. They got Evil should be the shortcut, the funnier route, the breaking down doors. Whereas good is always one extra room of enemies, maybe. And then everyone loves you and you get better items out of it for going the hard way. I feel like good should take everything from you, but you just struggle because you are good. I think I think of it a completely thing differently. I think the causation of whether you're good or evil is uh, nearly irrelevant. It's just like, if you do something evil, this happens because that happened and that happened. When you do something good, that happens because of that happens and that happens. So you think it shouldn't be a direct play. It's just, no, these are actually different paths now. Hey, we did it. 
I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> mostly infeasible yeah. to a large amount of video games, but... Th that is that, the dream. That is the dream that, that an is evil the dream. character is generally, genuinely a different character who would thus go on a different path. I don't know. I think there are some old... There are some CRPGs where that is doable, but we're talking old 90s shit with mounds of text and very, you know, that complex shit. It's true. I don't feel like it's that undoable. I feel like it's just... We focus too much on having, like, fucking thousands upon thousands of fucking quests that are just go here and do this. Instead of making a packed experience. You know what? If you're making an RPG, is a tip. Instead of making 500 quests, how about six? Yeah, that's pretty good. Six quests is pretty good. I don't need more than that. Just get me in, get me out. It's like Noonam said, you can be in a weekend, but you that's a <laughs> weekend to remember. <laughs> All right. They don't actually like you and you're still kicked out, but I got you to surgical supplies. Those tools? Oh, wait, are you being dodgy with me? He's definitely being dodgy right now. He is covered in blood. Whose blood is that? Whose blood is that, Tacitus? Uh, I love that we can't ask anything. He is just a nice idiot. Yeah, I decided to give him the supplies. What does I that think mean? He's Tools. Yeah, no, he is going to be slicing someone up in a basement, and I've enabled him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well... He was talking, the other guy was saying that he made explosives and that led to problems. So I think he's actually just covered in the gore of those children in the playground when he was making C4 or something. Oh, I lost <laughs> Pono. Yeah, I did an evil thing. Wow, this game's actually complex. There's so much to think about. Well, we're level five now. I guess we are not supposed to trust the people who are just walking around on the road. Because they, <laughs> they haven't been good to us. Turns out, don't trust the guy who's covered in blood. Well, okay, this game's actually going to have some role-playing to it. I didn't expect that. So, how do we how do, we do this? Yeah. Hey, Snake. I want mm -hmm. you to go back and kill him. <laughs> Let me get back that Pono, you cunt. If, if he is a bad and we do lose Pono for helping him, put, it should mean that by killing him, salvation. What if I shoot him and it immediately resets the quest and he needs surgical supplies? <laughs> and I can just grind it forever. I love that he's still there. All right. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. Gonna throw that frack. Yeah, this is a perfectly comically neutral action because I didn't actually take his grenade. Oh, he's still alive. <laughs> what a fucking coward! He's one tough cookie. He's just not doing anything. Oh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, try I again. Think, I, I don't think I can defeat this guy. <laughs> I just want to sit here. There we go. He's dead. I gained one mana. I didn't actually notice if I gained anything proper. I was like, I'll take his gun. And you can't get the surgical stuff back. Well, I hope he wasn't quest important. I hope he wasn't plot important. <laughs> I mean, when we can sense that we've lost respect in the community, what else are you supposed to do? Like, you kill that guy. <laughs> he didn't even do anything. He just let us kill him, which is just... He didn't even fight back. He didn't even throw a grenade. You know, Fallout might, have, might be getting a bad rap nowadays, I guess, kind of. Semi. But when you killed a dude who was a bad guy, people reacted, you know? They were like, hey, why'd you kill that guy? I'm gonna kill you now. Or, like, they tried to at least 
survive. Yeah, well, maybe we'll get back to town and everyone will have heard about it. Also, wait, did his skeleton leave his body? It didn't. That guy didn't have a soul. Did that guy actually die? What if he didn't die? Well, we looted him. He was just impassive, incapacitated. Oh, good. Well, it, the tooltip is bound to this location, so just coming back here reminds you. Tap, you Hain vision. <laughs> you Hain sounds like a footballer. It does. A footballer and also a weird disease that you'd have your on your foot, probably. <laughs> and now, coming onto the pitch, Arsenio you Hain. Sounds like putain. I do like a putain. Oh wait, I mean poutine. Alright, plant gum. I'll meet you in a second, god. I need to get more craftables. I'm just... fresh out. I'm looking up what putain is. <laughs> oh, it's here. a woman's vagina. Ah. But it is, uh, it's one of those urban dictionary definitions. Uh, so it doesn't mean anything then. It doesn't mean anything. But a person called Putainaria said this on May 3rd, 2016. And I feel like they're just trying to start a trend of the word putain. Oh boy. Sounds like a fetch quest. A fetish quest? Oh, you're talking about this. <laughs> but this might be someone's fetish. Someone's fetish quest to make some. Some people have macro fetishes, macrophilia. Yeah, I don't doubt that. It's 25 by 25 square kilometers. Oh, good. So a back and forth. It's like I'm playing Death Stranding. Um, mixed results. Kai, asking the right questions yet again. This really is a video game, isn't it? It is just a video game experience. Oh my god. Yeah, and he's teaching us how to make explosive arrows. Why didn't he say this from the beginning? It's not like we've, like, gained any ability after we saw him last. I wanted to, I just didn't. Mahalo. Thank you, Eldritch being for explosive spirit arrows. Yes, I've, I'll visit, you lonely bastard. You've said several <laughs> times, remember to come back here. I realize no one talks to you. I mean, he is a giant blue guy. I too would be lonely if I was a giant blue. I wonder if you can make more of these. Wait, but I, I did return. I'm level five! Do I, have to, do I have to get those skills? I mean, I guess we do have... Maybe we have... Now, we can now upgrade our... our, our oh, our... I, I missed the number one there. Now it's return at level 50. <laughs> An exciting fucking game. That's bullshit. How, wait, how do we up upgrade these? I uh, will learn later, I guess. 